living life, chilling with my girls, just me and my divas, taking over the world. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, A. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? Y'all already know I came to slay with an RPG show wig today, okay? Girl, look, we already know when it comes to RPG show, on my first wigs, we gonna, we gonna get through this. We gonna slay. We gonna be okay, girl. We gonna go about our way. Girl, yes. Yeah. So this is from their new collection. I will definitely link it down below. I get super excited when I get one of their wigs because I already know it's gonna go from good to better, to best to the bestest. You know what I always say about RPG show wigs? They got the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Okay, girl. So with that being said, check out this beauty right here so yeah she is middle parted okay she is definitely middle parted and the cool thing about it is she has like these curtain bangs i thought they was layers but you know you could wear them however you want you could part it to the right or the left if you want to but i decided i was going to leave it in the middle part i did co-wash it and i put it back in the middle part because that's how it came to me so the hairline looks really really tasty look good girl look like it's ready to go got this good swiss list swiss tinted lace you already know oh look at her color she's beautiful nice and curly so let me tell y'all let me tell y'all when she came to me her curls was like all over the place like seriously her curls was all over the place so you do need to wash your wavy and curly wigs i was gonna take the easy route and just spray her down and then put some you know nairobi in her but if you wash her co-wash her her curls be so succulent like this you know what i mean versus it being stringy now yeah i do be using it on camera because the curls come out after i apply it and stuff but i'm gonna only use some hairspray on my sides right there and that's it i'm not using it throughout the entire wig because i already know with rpg show wigs we good to go so i'm gonna show you how your wig comes from rpg show we're gonna just jump right into this girl okay oh Okay. All right, ladies, so you already know what I normally do, you know, cut the lace, all that cool stuff, you know. So I do like to use these curved scissors that I have on hand. Girl, these have been my favorite for years, okay? So if you do not have a small pair of nice curved scissors, girl, go ahead and get you a pair. But you can also use pink and shears. Now, I'm not going to be hairspraying down the whole entire unit. Just right there on the sides by my ear tabs because that's the most important to me. As you guys know, RPG show, you do not need to glue it down. You don't have to hairspray it down. This wig look good straight out the box. But for me, I need a little bit of, you know, security by them ear tabs. So that is the reason why I will spray some hairspray on that portion. So it's still glueless. It's just that I don't want anything flapping with the end. And I always find that the ear tab portions always flap up. Now you can also use a styling foam, which I'm going to be using just for my sideburn hairs. And y'all know what I always use, which is Mark Anthony's Curly Hair Styling Foam. Now I use this styling foam for everything. Like when I say every, well not everything, but I use it on all my wigs, especially when I'm sculpting like sideburn hairs 
or baby hairs, I love to use this foam. I really don't use it in the actual hair per se because it gets very sticky, sticky to the touch, and it kind of weighs down the hair. But for sculpting baby hairs or sideburn hairs, girl, this stuff is a charm. Works like a charm, baby. Now, as you guys see, this is a preference. You don't have to do this, but I really do like sideburn hairs. We're not about to put no baby hairs because this is an RPG show wig, and the wigs already look like they're growing out of your scalp, baby. Do it like it's your day, okay? Now, I do like the gingerish color red in this, this unit. Very pretty. It has curtain bangs. That's the reason why I left it in the middle part. And the sides are done so nicely, very natural looking. So that is the reason why you don't need any baby hairs. You don't have to pre-pluck it. Girl, it comes styled for you. Now, I do like my parts to be super sleek. So I am going to be using some of that foam in the part. And now, just to go ahead and spruce up the parting, I'm going to be using some of my Shop Miss A's foundation on an angle brush now this will always make your skin look like it's melted the hair make it look like it's growing out of your scalp this is just one preference I do prefer to use a liquid foundation or concealer versus pressed powder because pressed powder really doesn't hold on to the lace like that and y'all already know look how far this wig go back girl I'm telling you RPG show you already know do it like it show be day succulent curls i'm saying this wig is perfect the color is beautiful and the curls are very very succulent the only thing that i did was wash it like i said when it came to me because the curls are kind of all over the place and i really feel like when you get a curly unit or a wavy unit you definitely must wash it it'll take on a whole entire different look girl now look at that hairline baby i just take my comb and i just kind of like lift the hair up because I really don't want it to look like it's slicked down to my forehead or to my head. And this is some gorgeous hair. You can do so many different things with this full curly hair. This reminds me of something that Beyonce wore in that movie. Oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. But y'all know it had Idris Alba in it. She had like some curly hair just like this. This color will never fade out. This color will never be played out. It's the perfect color, honey. And look at them sides. Look at them edges, baby. Melted, melted like butter. Okay. You cannot tell me this is not the perfect curly wig. RPG Show has so many different units available, and they're always ready to wear. Just like this one right here. You can put it up in so many different styles. Y'all know how I feel about putting hair off my face. I think that would look so cute. And plus the color brings out my freckles. Now here's the part that I'm really sad about. I don't know what happened to the voice footage for this clip. But girl, I don't know if the battery died in the mic. That might be one of the, uh, it, um, the problems. Because it worked just fine in the beginning. But as you guys see, there's no glue, no hairspray. As you see, I'm just taking my comb and I'm just sweeping it right underneath the lace. This is glueless. You don't have to use any hairspray or glue to tack it down. You can put it on as is. But like I said, I would suggest washing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I will link everything down below. I love you all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.